Okay, this is a section on factoring out common stuff. And I just want you to get used to looking for things that are done twice. So in the first term, this is a fun one to ask your parents to work out without a calculator. And you watch all of their attempts to work this out without a calculator. But what we have here, if you look at it, that has a multiply by 13.812. And this has a multiply by 13.812. So according to what we were looking at, things that you've done twice, you only have to do once. So over here, I'm going to write out multiply by 13.812. I only have to do that once. Okay, there it is over there. Uh, everything else goes in the bracket. Now the bracket can go before or after. I'll put the bracket before here. What's left? Well, from the first term, 3, the plus sign, and the 97. Oh, well, 3 plus 97 just happens to work out to 100. And 100 times any decimal merely moves the decimal place 2 to the right. So here is my final answer. 1,381.2. So by looking for common factors, they can be anything. Let's look at the second thing. We have here an R squared, and here we have an R squared. Whatever you've done twice, you only have to do once. So that's R squared only has to be done once. Everything else goes in the bracket. Well, in this case, I have a 4 minus a 2. And that simplifies to 2r squared. 4 minus 2 is 2. So that's why you can add and subtract like terms. Because you're using this concept of whatever you've done more than once, you only have to do once. Let's look at fractions. 5 is divided by 7, and 1 is divided by 7. So I can say that dividing by 7 is something that I have done twice. Okay. Now in this case I'm going to use a, a bar instead of brackets, but bars and brackets are equivalent. It, in both cases they mean both. So this says both 5 and 1 are divided by 7. And that of course simplifies to 6 over 7. So the only way that we can ever add fractions is because we must be dividing both by the same thing. In other words, you need common denominators. It even works with words. Okay, I have nine bananas and I have two bananas. So what have I done more than once? Bananas. What's left to go in the bracket? Nine plus two. So I have eleven bananas. And there is my final answer. Now, if I said nine bananas and two apples, I wouldn't have 11 banana apples. Now, finally, let's see what happens if we have a bracket that's common. Say this bracket is 3x minus 7, and this bracket is 3x minus 7. So, whatever I've done twice, which is multiplied by the bracket, I only have to do once. So there I've written it down once, multiplied by that bracket. Everything else goes in a bracket. So this time we bring in another bracket. So what's left from the first term is 2x, then a plus sign, and what's left from the second term is 5. So I can say both 2x and 5 were multiplied by that bracket. And that's how you factor out a common bracket. And that is something that's going to be really important when we move into the next type of factoring. Factoring out a common bracket. So it's just like a common word, a common denominator, a common r squared, or a common multiplied by numbers. Whatever you have done twice, you only have to do once. Everything else goes in the other bracket.